Hey guys, this is Mike with M10 Stuff. I've got a friend here with her Whirlpool stove. The oven portion is not working. So I'm gonna show you how we're going to replace the igniter to get this thing working again. To get this oven door off, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these little tabs on both sides. You're gonna flip them up like this. Flip it up like this. And you flip those all the way forward. And now when we close this, the hinge is gonna close right on there and it's gonna take this little bracket to bend it out. So you're just gonna lift it up a little bit and then the door just pops off. Usually a little easier than that. Like that. And then the model number on this is right down in here. So we got the Whirlpool. You get your model number and your serial number down here so we can track down the part. So in order to um, get underneath here to look at the element and everything to see what's going on we're simply going to pull out the bottom tray it's just loose move that to the side and we've got this little heating element right down here this little heating element right here is not working properly it's not heating up what it's going to do is it's going to heat up and then it's going to send the signal back through the wires and tell it to go ahead and ignite the gas and then that will turn on. So what I did to figure this out is I did a quick little test here and there's no power to either of these wires. And when I try and actually... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the stove on and then you can see that it sends, it sends a signal to the element, but the element's not heating up. Once it heats up, it sends a signal back through this wire to turn the gas onto this. So this element's not working. We're gonna track it down, order it, replace it. So there was just these two little bolts that holding this thing in down here. I've already disconnected the wires from back behind the stove. Then this will just pull out. There's a little bit of a hole. You gotta wiggle it through in there. Then we'll figure out the part number and get it ordered. To get to the wiring harness, all we had to do was take off this screw it goes under here and a screw that goes on here and just pull the this uh, panel out just a little bit and we're going to reconnect these and try it out i'll share a link for the actual lighter the igniter um, it's definitely the same one and here's a part number and i'll put a link for an amazon uh, purchase i got it in about eight hours delivered where i live so kind of nice to be able to get this thing quick uh quick fix all right, so we got the new igniter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shove the connector back there through the hole, get that ready to line up, and we're gonna put this back into here. Just gonna put the screw, just start it a teeny little bit. Finger, finish it out with this. So we're gonna test it out. Got everything connected. Turn on the bake mode. You're gonna see the lighter, the igniter, is gonna start glowing. Perfect. The old one was not doing that. So as soon as that gets hot enough, it'll send that signal back, it'll turn the gas on, and this thing will ignite. There we go. Problem solved. We saved ourselves a couple hundred bucks from a repairman coming out. And uh, easy peasy. Thanks for watching. Like it if you like it.